watch out for yourself and make sure that you have clarity around this so you can be successful in the end. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla and this is where we talk all about project management in lean teams and startup organizations. First off, I wanna give a shout out to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you all. And if you're new watching for the first time, I wanna welcome you and invite you to subscribe and let me know your questions. I'm really passionate about project management and I want to know how I can help you. Okay, on to today's topic. Today we're going to talk about the first step in managing a project. And this one can seem a little confusing, especially if you're a new project manager and especially if you're working at a startup. There's a lot of ambiguity that can surround new projects in a startup environment. So I want to share some tips with you today. Now this will help you also if you work for a larger organization, but I do want to point out that many of the larger organizations that are more by the book, like um, going by the PMBOK, they will have a more formalized process for starting a project. And that usually involves something um, called a project charter document, which is essentially saying, here's what the project is. Here's what the end result should be. Here are all the stakeholders. Can we please get sign off on this so we could pursue the project further? This is called project initiation for um, if we're talking about technical project management, the technical term for this is project initiation. And like I say, depending on what sort of company you work with, this could be a more formalized process or not. Now, if you work at a startup, the way this usually goes down is someone from maybe your marketing team or your sales team, maybe you have a research team, maybe it's your CEO. Someone has discovered or determined that there is a need or an opportunity and they have realized that in order to fill that need, it's going to take a pooling of people and time and resources to make that happen. It's a project. And so this is when you get called, okay? And they'll say, we have this thing that we've decided needs to happen. Now, can you make that happen? <laughs> and as the project manager, I've been there. I've been there where it's like, okay, there's quite a bit of ambiguity around this. I don't have a lot of clarity. Maybe you're the only project manager, which can seem you know, even more overwhelming, and you don't really know where to start. But this is usually how it happens, and this is when you will get called. So this is when you want to put on your investigator hat and ask a lot of questions, okay? Because before you get started going down any path of like starting to um, hire people or assign people tasks or build a project plan even, you need to ask a lot of questions to understand what exactly it is that we're doing. It may seem clear at first, but I'm telling you, asking the questions will clarify so much for you. We need to know what exactly it is we're doing. How will we know we're finished? How will we know it's a success? What is the budget for this? Is there a deadline? Um, you know, often in these conversations, what's uncovered is that they don't just want the one thing or expect the one thing. It's like the one thing with 10 features and they want it all in six weeks with a budget of some amount that is not really feasible. So having these conversations, you being brave enough to ask the questions that nobody else will probably want to ask is very important for you to define, first of all, define what it is that you're doing so that you can have success as a project manager. We know that if we don't have clarity, around what it is that we are trying to do, then we just can't have success as a project manager. So watch out for yourself and make sure that you have clarity around this so you can be successful in the end. But also you wanna make sure the team's successful, like the company is successful. And if there's expectations that are just unrealistic, we need to uncover those before we even get started, okay? And I've seen it be where we uncover so much about this idea that it's determined that we, we just don't need to go down that road like we were going down the wrong path we need to we need to turn around because this is not the right idea people will thank you 
I'm telling you, it, it's difficult to ask the questions, but they will thank you. This is what you need to do as a project manager. Now, once you answer all of these questions and you're all on the same page about this is what MVP is, these are the expectations that we have, you know, let's write the specifications, let's write the project plan, let's start getting this thing done. Then you can start doing those more like project manager activities, but the front end of the project always needs to be a lot of questions and we always need to understand and have clarity around what it is that we're doing. So as always, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.